Welcome back. Thanks very much for being with us on the Saturday Noon News. Special guest with us today, and uh, Trevor Warren is going to actually be with us on the next two noon shows, Saturday as well. This is uh, a three-part series that we're kicking off with Trevor, who's a registered clinical counselor, and one of the smartest people that I know. And the series that we're doing is all about intimate relationships, which... Trevor, as you know all too well, we're not, we're not generally very good at intimate relationships, as you've said to me before, and, and it's kind of a scary thing. Yeah, absolutely. This whole idea. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and one of the things that uh, I think contributes to the place where couples, so many of the couples that come into my office really get stuck, and it's the, the idea that we're upset uh, because of what our partner has done or didn't right. do or how they did it. And that's one of the places where uh, the couple will come in, and that's the impasse where they're locking heads. They're stuck right there in that. So many couples. Right. Like and kind of the framework behind today, what you're going to talk to us about, and I love this idea, it's kind of one of those light bulb mo moments, is that you're not upset for the, for the thing or the reasons that yeah. you think you're upset about. Absolutely. Absolutely. What does that mean, though? Well, um, the truth is, is that uh, how we attribute, when we're upset, we do say, um, you know, if how do we make this better? And, and the comments we often get are, if only he did this differently, or if only right. he did the, more of this, and, and Put down that, we attribute that way exactly. But the truth is that you know, um, it, you if you put another person in that situation, they would likely have a different experience of that. And we're we're really on a large continuum of how we would experience something. I think of this example of you know sending. Gandhi and uh, say uh, Mother Teresa and Charles Manson and say Gordon Campbell down uh, the downtown east side through through a you know a bad part of town okay and th they, are they going to have different experiences and the answer to that is absolutely yes and, and why is that so it really begs the question are we responding to the actual situation or are we responding to the meaning that we place on that event right and that's where if couples start to have a look at that they're going to um, it's it's a res it's an internal response to personal construction how they see it right so we based have based on the... something that's maybe in your past absolutely okay so let's show the model because I think this gives yeah. people a bit of an understanding it yeah. kind of lays it out yeah, absolutely so um, in this example this is um, what you see here is the activating event and the consequence and this is the first kind of model and this is how people will usually say the consequence is how we end up feeling okay say for example uh, Steve forgets Jackie's birthday uh -oh. now the activating event is the they forgot the birthday the consequence right. is Jackie's really feeling down and upset yeah and this is and we think the solution is if only the fellow had remembered the birthday right then everything would be better okay so then we show the next one here which says that really, uh, you know, and this belief system, this perceptive lens that the woman has is, is filtering everything that comes through. And for example, if she grew up in a family where she was one of, say, eight kids, she was one that was really always trying to get the attention of her dad and was just never really successful at that, she's likely going to be more prone, her perception is going to be a lot more prone to having antenna up around people forgetting about her and, you know, maybe she has a sense of lack of importance. And so the birthday, or forgetting the birthday is not the issue, it's the belief around not important that gets activated in that that results in her experience. Okay, so Jackie kind of feeling like maybe she's not worthwhile after all. Yeah. Okay. But you can, you can fit in Susie or uh, Julie or some other woman who hasn't had a similar background and they're probably going to respond really? differently. They don't care that their birthday has been forgotten or they don't, they don't react yeah, the same way? Exactly. Yeah, okay. So, and the last one on there is something that we're kind of alluding to for the next time you're right. here. And what's that? Well, that, the, the, that actually the, it's not so much that something happens and then we look at it a particular way and then we have an experience of it as much as where our antenna, our perceptive glasses are on all the time. And so if I have a sense of being unimportant, for example, I'm going to be, of all the information in any one circumstance, I'm going to be subconsciously looking for that. Looking to be told you're not important. Or looking yeah. for evidence of that, and we'll take any information and we'll distort it, really, ultimately, to prove the original belief walking in. And so, you know, resolving conflict has a lot more to do with looking at the personal construction that's going on inside of you. And that's where couples, all the couples that have really started to make some headway in resolving their issues have really started Start to look at that way. Start looking this way instead of that way. Absolutely. And next week, the power of then. The power of then. Sounds yeah. good, too. Yeah, it's really about the past. And uh, w the thing about this belief that we're talking about right now, it's very right. quite subconscious. So right. it doesn't, uh, we don't recognize the power that it has on us. So we'll talk about that and how the past relates to the present. Got it. Yeah. Good stuff.
thanks for being with us. Absolutely. The first of three. We look forward to seeing you next week. By the way, for more information, uh, here's how you can get a hold of Trevor. Uh, he is at CoreQuest Counseling and Consulting, and the phone number's on your screen there. It's 604-980-2673, and they've got a great website with all kinds of information as well. It's counselingvancouver.ca. Thanks, Trevor. Nice to have you here. Thank you.